Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This video goes up on a Monday, so it's Masters of the Universe Origins by Mattel Monday. This time I am reviewing the Masters of the Universe Origins Battle Cat action figure. This was released in 2020. I bought this in 2020. Here it is in a nice window package. We have a nice plastic covering here to see the action figure itself. Plus a great big flap up here. So certainly looks nice, but that's a lot of extra space that it does take up, but still looks really nice. So here is the top where the window wraps around to the top and lets in more light. Very nice picture up here. Here is the bottom with some manufacturing information there. Here is one side. A bit tall to get it all in. Here is the other side. Not much happening there. Here is the back with a very nice picture. There we go. We'll get the light out of it. Very nice picture on the top here. Shows you the action feature, which is just posing it. And then a cross cell showing the other action figures in this first wave of Masters of the Universe action figures. So I'll open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here is the Masters of the Universe Origin Battle Cat freed from the plastic prison. He has no accessories except for the saddle and the helmet that were attached to him in the package. So let's take a look at the dimensions of this action figure with his armor on. At the highest point, up to the horn there, it's about six and a half inches tall or about 16 and a half centimeters tall. And for the width, it looks like he's about three inches wide or about seven and a half centimeters wide. At the longest point, let's pull out his tail there, make him as long as possible. There we go. From the tip of the nose to the end of the tail there, looks like about 12 and a half inches long or maybe 31 centimeters long so part of that is this tail here and let's take a closer look at this battle cat so it's painted well he's in plastic uh, green plastic here painted yellow stripes not much other painting uh, looks like some nice white teeth there and no paint on the bottom of the paws there. Lots of sculpted details throughout. Lots of fur, so very impressive. Painted eyes. And I do have a little clear plastic rubber band. This, this is uh, what was attached in the packaging. And I'm keeping it on because the armor piece is not as snug on the action figure as I'd like it to be. It's a bit loose. And so I like the rubber band piece and keeping it on there so this does not fall off too easily. So I'm a little disappointed about how easily this helmet comes off. And this helmet is kind of a harder plastic. Not very thick, but kind of hard. Not soft and pliable like uh, helmets or saddles would be because this is also kind of a hard plastic and the saddle is a bit loose it fits on with a strap underneath and it's a little bit difficult to get back on once it's taken off but it is meant to be taken off so we can see maybe cringer although it's still too big to be cringer but it does come off and I'll take that off in just a moment here so looking pretty nice 
I'll do a little bit of articulation here um, before we take the armor off then we'll get the articulation after the armor so the tail does move there's a hinge going up and down and it's a ball swivel there so that'll turn very nice the leg joint this one goes back and forward this one does not move for me at all I'm sure it's meant to move but it's just stuck and I don't want to push too hard so I just can't get this to move at all front leg moves forward and back that far and this one moves forward and back just a little bit so that is working we have a head or neck joint that moves up and down also the helmet bumps into the saddle piece here so it'll flow over it when we move it but because this part is loose it'll fall off very easily that's part of why I keep this rubber band on it so the neck goes up and down and the head moves from side to side and the jaw is articulated it's closed and open at the knees we have a swivel at the knee and it bends that far and it goes back that far this one swivels and bends that far and goes back that far same thing on the back this can bend I'm gonna keep it in place here there we go that's as far as it'll go there we go and it swivels there and this side this side also bends there we go that far back that far forward and that swivels too so I'll remove the armor here there we go that comes off there hollow plastic pretty hard and I'll remove the helmet I'm gonna keep the rubber band piece so I can put it back on but that's also hollow no eye holes there so the eyes are painted on this and we'll get the cringer in just a moment now the only difference in height between cringer and battle cat is cringer is just a bit shorter about an uh, six inches tall or maybe a little less than 16 centimeters tall without the armor and the extra height but here we can see him more clearly the other dimensions are the same well maybe just a little bit shorter because the helmet had an extra nose piece so that is yeah, maybe about um, 12 12 and a quarter inches long or 30 and a half centimeters long and the width is the same here we can see some more of the details so they did put in the effort to paint it so that's pretty nice we can see the tail can actually move up just a little bit more because the armor was blocking the tail from moving up this high and we can see the neck more clearly here so that moves up and down and the head just moves side to side so that's the limit of the movement there so it doesn't look so scared here compared to the cringer from the cartoon 
but it's a pretty nice looking um, battle cat or cringer. Just a little disappointing that this leg joint here doesn't work, but pretty cool looking. Considering the size difference between the Masters of the Universe Origin Battle Cat on the right side and the Masters of the Universe Masterverse Battle Cat on the left, it looks like this um, Origins Battle Cat could work as a cringer for the Masterverse scale action figures because in the cartoon Cringer was smaller than Battle Cat and when Cringer became Battle Cat he became much larger and got this armor attached to him so this could work this way although maybe Cringer is still or this Battle Cat here is still too big to really be an accurately scaled Cringer to go along with this Masterverse Battle Cat but could work. Here he is next to a pair of four inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an animal planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. And this battle cat in the unarmored form makes a great giant monster cat. Here he is next to the Masters of the Universe Origins He-Man action figure. And they look pretty good together there. Here he is next to a 6 inch action figure, the Fortnite Legendary Series Rabbit Raider by Jazzwares. Here he is next to a 6 inch action figure, the Marvel Legends White Rabbit action figure by Hasbro. Here he is next to the Action Force Condor action figure, a 6.5 inch action figure by Valiverse. Here he is next to the DC Multiverse Green Lantern Kyle Rayner action figure, a 7 inch action figure by McFarlane Toys. Here he is next to the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure, a 7 inch action figure by Mattel. Here he is in his armored form next to a pair of 4 inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an animal planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. Here he is in his armored form next to the Masters of the Universe Origins He-Man action figure by Mattel. Here he is in his armored form next to the 6 inch Fortnite Legendary Series Rabbit Raider action figure by Jazzwares. Here he is in his armored form next to a 6 inch Marvel Legends White Rabbit action figure by Hasbro. Here he is in his armored form next to a six and a half inch action figure, the Action Force Condor action figure by Valiverse. Here he is in his armored form next to a seven inch action figure, the DC Multiverse Kyle Rayner Green Lantern action figure by McFarlane Toys. Here he is in his armored form next to a seven inch action figure, the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. Here is the Masters of the Universe Origin He-Man sitting on Battle Cat. And he seems to fit into the saddle pretty snugly. Uh, pretty smoothly, no trouble fitting him in there. And it does not look like his legs are sticking out too much to the side there. So, that's pretty good. So he seems to work well in uh, different poses or positions there. And... With a smooth um, uh, crotch piece there, there's nothing interfering with him just sitting on the saddle. Whereas the Masterverse version of He-Man has this extra loincloth sticking down. And I think that would interfere with him sitting on this battle cat. So let's see if we can get him sitting there. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to work nearly as well. And I can't get him to really sit in there very well. So, the um, Origins Battle Cat here is meant for Origin style figures so they can fit in quite well. So, they obviously go together. I like both versions of Battle Cat, although this one 
as plastic pieces here. The saddle and the helmet are a bit, little bit softer and a little bit more pliable, not nearly as hard as this one. But um, they both look pretty good. This one has some paint detail, but a little bit less uh, detail than this Masterverse version. The Masterverse version is a larger, more collector oriented line, so they generally have more details. This is more like a toy meant for kids to play around with, so I can see why there'd be less uh, detail on it. Also the joints are maybe a bit tougher, although this leg joint here just didn't work for me, so that's a little disappointing, but they both look very, very good. Um, this Masterverse version has much larger claws, so that's pretty nice. Um, now this helmet, because it's a little bit softer, more pliable plastic, it fits on the head more snugly than this one. So this one, I used the clear uh, plastic rubber band that it came with to hold it in place but they both look uh, pretty good so they'd be great for a big display with maybe a large or a small army of um, battle cats with he-man on them i think on all this masters of the universe origin battle cat action figure is a very nice action figure um, I just had the bad luck to have one that had a, a problem with the joint here that just doesn't want to move for me. Maybe it'll loosen up after a while, but I'm really afraid to try to push it too far. I'm afraid I might break the leg off, so maybe I'll just leave it that way because at least it's in a, a good standing pose this way. Uh, one problem that I think is common across all of the Battle Cats would be this harder plastic here that doesn't quite fit on the head snugly so you might want to keep the clear plastic rubber band piece so you can hold it in place so it doesn't just fall off if you're moving it around so pretty nice looking action figure it's pretty good for different displays especially masters of the universe displays uh, or if you take the armor off it looks pretty nice as a a green alien tiger so that'll be fun so thank you for watching my review video remember to like the video leave a comment let me know what you think of this action figure and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews and commentary i will see you next time action figure fans